Well, I guess it has come down to this. Me cutting my own hair at home for YouTube contents. Yep. Is this me trying to be helpful to y'all or is this a cry for help to me? I don't know, but I guess we better find out. <laughs> I'm Nemesis. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Alright, as per usual, before we get started, let's talk about the song of the week. You see how I got serious? Yeah, give me a second. There's been a lot of really good song releases, okay? I'm a little overwhelmed. Like, all the way from Lil Nas X to Kiana Lede, a lot of, like, really good Kehlani collaborations, babe. But I have to go with my heart. This is a little biased because... I am Puerto Rican, so obviously I have a soft spot for Bad Bunny and Tommy Torres, but I want to highlight it. I don't give a fuck. Tommy Torres and Bad Bunny came out with this super cute short album called El Playlist de Anoche. So I want to highlight the song Immortal because it that has made me ugly cry. So yeah, that's that's the song of the week. Let's carry on. Let's carry on. All right, so as you saw, by the title of this video. Today, I am going to do something either really great or a really big mistake. We're about to find out. Ah, it's a gamble. Ah. Today, I'm going to be doing a little haircut on my natural wavy hair. And I'm nervous because I have never freaking done this before, but I need it <laughs> because this is what my hair is looking like at the moment. I haven't gotten my curly cut refreshed since December of last year. So my layers are nowhere to be found. My bangs, can you even call them bangs anymore? My hair has just gotten out of shape. I need to reshape it into something that actually frames my face. I was planning on just going to my regular curly hair salon that I absolutely love, but a bitch is still recovering from this expensive ass move. Luckily, one of my friends, Miss Amy, she sent me a video by Mains by Mel, Mains by Fuck, Mains by Mel. She invented of uh, this haircut called the pigtails haircut. It was very easy the way that she explained it. So in this video, I'm just gonna be following it step by step and trying to give myself the type of rounded haircut that I need. All right, step one is to make sure that I actually have all the tools I need. So first, obviously, I'm gonna need a sharp pair of hair cutting scissors. These are from Conair. So regular hair ties, a detangling brush. I'm just gonna be using my Denver brush because it's just so much easier. A hair comb, like this one. A water bottle and a hair cape to catch all the hair that's gonna be falling out of my head. Now I'm gonna go wash this. 50 nasty, crusty, oily head of hair. And I'll be right back. All right, hair is washed. And honestly, it's getting a little bit dry. So I'm gonna re-wet this real quick. All right, so I'm gonna have Mel's video playing and I'm gonna follow step by step. The first step that she does is apply a leave-in conditioner. I'm gonna go with my Verb Curl Leave-In Conditioner. Apply a good amount and detangle because we're gonna do a whole lot of brushing during this haircut, so it would be just best if my hair is completely out, detangled, and as smooth and slippy as possible. I think now it's pretty detangled. Let me put on my little cape situation. <laughs> All right, so the first thing that Ms. Mel does is part her hair where she usually would have it parted on a day-to-day -day basis. Mine is already parted right here in the middle and that's usually where I, I keep my hair. I guess I could try to finesse this, this metal part. All right, second thing that she does is deal with her bangs. Let's see how she does it. And I'm also going to section away my bangs. Let's do that. Uh, Jesus, how does she do it so beautifully and professionally? All right, because she's an actual professional and I'm not. Okay, that's one side. And there's the other side. Okay, I think these are my bangs. The fact that I said I think these are my bangs, I mean, yeah, it looks pretty, pretty even. That division looks pretty even. I don't wanna be cutting my bangs too short, so I'm only gonna be trimming the little tips off but I want them to be shorter in the front and longer on the sides. So I'm going to split the section at my part and one side at a time, I'm going to completely comb and over direct the bangs all the way to the opposite side. See how these pieces are falling out? That's okay because I want them to be longer and I want to trim right in there. Good? Ooh. Okay, okay, let's do that. Oh my God, ay Dios mío. 
So she said, I also don't want my bangs to be so short. I'm not going back to the to the eyebrow bang. So I'm gonna do what she did. I just want my bangs to kind of look like like curtain bangs, but curly curtain bangs. She went like like that, and then she did that, which makes a lot of sense. This is kind of harder than it looked like. Okay, so that is the bit that I'm gonna be cutting. I'm scared, bitch. I'm really scared, but it's fine. That's not too bad. Look at me, look at me. I still think that I want them to be shorter, but little by little, little by little, okay? Let's not, let's not get carried away. Okay, let's do the other side, shall we? So like this, and then like this. And that's the bit that I'm gonna be cutting. Let me re-wet these stitches because they're getting way too dry, way too quick. Okay, I think I'm actually gonna go a little bit shorter because this feels too long. I want them maybe like till here. So I'm gonna do that again. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna keep them at that length. When I dry my hair, if I feel like going a little bit shorter, I'll do it. But for now, I think I'm good with that length. Okay, so I'm just gonna clip that away because that's what Mel did and I'm following her instructions. I look ridiculous, it's fine. Now this is where everything changes and things get specific. So first what I've done is I made sure that I split my hair evenly down the middle but had two equal sized sections. Okay, hold on, let me try to do that. Let me see if I can even do that. How do I know? How do I know if it's split down the middle? Is it split down the middle? I don't know. Kind of, it's kind of split down the middle. Okay, I think this is the closest. We're gonna get to split down the middle. So here I have two hair ties placed in different sections of my head, which are gonna give me completely different layering results. If I keep my sections in the middle of my head, I will create a nice rounded shape that won't take too much weight off of the top and also will take enough off of the bottom so it's not heavy. I also place this just behind my ear, not too close to my hairline, not too close to the back. This is gonna keep all the layers pretty even. I think that's gonna be it. Let me do the other side real quick before even trimming because I want to make sure that I am putting them in the same fucking position. I think, I think they look even. I think they look even. They are right in the middle of my head and right behind my ear. I'm also going to keep my section very smooth. Hold the tip and cut the ends. You ready? I'm a little scared because I've never done this. But I know it will work because that's just how layering works. Okay, and that's the bit that I'm gonna cut. Oh shit, yeah, that did work. Cause I ended up cutting, so this is my top layer and this is my bottom layer. And look, like, I don't know if you can freaking see it against this black background. <laughs> this is my top layer and this is my bottom layer. And look, like, yeah, it did trim both things. Is Mel a fucking genius? Now I have to do the exact same thing on the other side. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, same thing. Here's my top layer and here's my bottom layer. And you can see that both of them got cut. <laughs> now I have to take them off to see if they are actually even, because I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm gonna take a piece from my top layer over here and a piece of my top layer here. Fucking hell, are they even? Oh yeah, they are. Did I do this right, bitch? And like putting my hair, like stretching out my hair like that. Like, yeah, it's pretty goddamn even. Did I just do this correctly? I mean, it wasn't that hard. It's just, I cut the layers. I want to make sure that I cut the perimeter. So I'm going to snip my ends and make sure that they got some love. My hair is still in half, so one half at a time. I'm going to be turning my head and brushing my hair forward in front of my chest. If I kept my head straight and brushed all this hair forward, it's gonna make the front shorter and the back longer, which will give you a rounded V shape. But I don't want it to be a super sharp V, I want it to be a softer U. So I'm gonna turn my head off to my shoulder, brush all of this hair, make sure I'm holding it smooth down, not tilting my head, 
pinch your finger behind your brush or your comb as we've been doing and follow through until right where you want to. I cut my hand. Of course I cut my hand. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, pause, give me a second. Okay, so as we were doing, I trimmed my ends on this, on this side and you kind of saw how I do it. But let me actually speak while I do this, this one. So as Mel explained, you brush out your hair, you turn your head to the side, but you keep brushing it like forward. Then you follow it with your, with your fingers until you want to cut. For me, it's right there. So that's what I'm gonna be cutting without cutting my hand this time. All right, now both ends have been caught. I mean, I think this one might be a tiny bit longer. So I might just trim that little bit. It's literally just that tiny bit of hair that I'm cutting. Okay, it's hard not to cut your own fingers when you're cutting hair with sharp ass scissors. Okay, and now I think they're fucking even. Bitch. I feel like I'm doing this correctly. All right, and now she just carries on to style her hair as per usual. That's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna come back, see how the haircut looks actually dry and see if we need to dry cut any pieces. I think for me, it's gonna be in my bang section, but we'll see. So I'll be right back. Give me one second. Hello? Hi? Huh? Wait, let me, let me zoom out, let me zoom out, let me zoom out. This haircut turned out exactly how I wanted it to turn out. <laughs> Bitch! Okay, listen, listen up. It worked. And also, I'm so excited because I haven't had like a really good wash day turnout in, in like weeks. In like weeks. I was really struggling with my hair texture. I was struggling with the shape of it. I was struggling with everything. And this kind of like rebooted my, my curls and my waves. Like they look so fresh. I mean, it looks so nice. Like, let's let's give you a little back look. Um, ignore my bra. It's gonna show. Okay. Just just shut up. I think. I think it looks nice. I'm so satisfied. I don't think I'm I'm gonna dry cut anything. Let me see. Let me see before before I give my verdict. Should I go a little bit shorter in the bang area? I don't think so. I don't think so. This is a, a nice uh, bang length for me because it frames my face without it being on my face, you know? Like it just, ooh, it does exactly what I wanted it to do. I think I could have gone a little bit shorter on my layers, but I was scared. I was scared to like keep cutting because I'm a pussy and I am not a trained professional, so I didn't want to fuck up my hair. But now I know that I could have gone shorter with my layers. So in a few months, when I do this haircut again, I can just, you know, put the ponytail a little bit higher and cut more layers into my hair. And I think it'll look fine. I just wanted to do this experiment to see if the technique itself, if the pigtail technique worked on my hair type. Because me and Mel have very, 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 very different textures. So if you are a wavy girl, like me and you want to retouch your layers your bangs just know that this technique works because it, it worked for me it literally gave me the rounded look that i was looking for because my hair was starting to fall flat here and now it's not flat now it's it's rounded and it's actually framing my face okay that's all for me so every single tool that i use for the haircut every single product that i use for wash day and for the styling portion, I will link down below. So if you're interested in any of that, check out the description box. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. Also follow me on Instagram at Mimeo6 for more pictures of my face and on TikTok at NemesisMarie6 for random nonsense. And most importantly, babes, have a great rest of your day, okay? Bye!